If you have not been able to hatch at least one huge pineapple monkey in this update, you are doing something very wrong. Because in update 14, we have so many different ways that you can actually get this huge that you should have no excuses. But if you follow the tips that I'm about to give you, you should be able to get at least one of these huges for yourself. And in today's video, we're going to do a deep dive into at least four of those different ways that you can get this huge and which ones have the best odds. Keep in mind that the odds to get this huge from any of these methods have nothing to do with owning any game passes or any pay to win thing. So if you don't have any of those you should be all set and if you want to support me in my push for big games partner all you have to do is hit the subscribe button so thank you so much for that now without further yapping let's get right into the video all right you guys so we're here in the obby world and i was not lying to you guys when i said there are more ways to get this huge than ever before i'm pretty sure like compared to the last few updates this huge has the most various different ways that you can get it compared to the other ones now when i say that it doesn't necessarily mean that this huge is easy to get because the odds for all of these different methods are still pretty difficult considering but luckily for you guys i do have the best methods to actually get this for yourselves so no need to worry we're about to go over all of them right here so we're going to be doing a scale of kind of like the worst to the best ways to get this huge for yourself so keep that in mind when we're going through this list but the first way that you can actually get this huge and probably the most common way that people are getting it for a few reasons is just using these regular eggs in the obby world so if you guys come over here or to whatever your best egg is currently in the obby world opening this egg is going to give you a one in a hundred million chance at getting this huge pineapple monkey now i don't know about you guys but a hundred one in a hundred million is absolutely insane that's kind of just a waste of time honestly but thankfully there are some better ways to get it if we head over here and look at the huge chance on this egg we could see that this egg right here is giving us a two times huge chance which means opening this egg is going to give us a one in 50 million chance at getting that huge pineapple monkey while this is a whole lot better than the one in a hundred million from that egg down there it still is not that good but if we keep searching and going around to all these various eggs the highest chance that you can get out of one of these permanent eggs in one of these spots is going to be a 10x huge chance now obviously at that 10x huge chance you're going to have a 1 in 10 million chance to get the huge now while these odds do sound pretty crazy which they really are you can have up to a hundred eggs opening at once so if you have a hundred eggs opening and you have a 1 in 10 million chance to get the huge you're essentially giving yourself a one in a hundred thousand chance to get the huge that every time that you cycle through opening now luckily for you guys this actually isn't the best method to get this huge currently but honestly if you are able to find one of these 10x eggs while you're grinding overnight and you can auto farm then just doing that while opening the eggs while you're sleeping does at least give you a sliver of a chance at getting this huge for yourself for doing absolutely nothing. So if you're already in the obby world and you're grinding for drops and other things, you might as well look around and just see if any of these eggs are a 10x huge chance. They are definitely better than nothing and is just a way to get this huge while doing other stuff. And personally, I haven't got a huge by doing it this way. I usually get pretty unlucky with my island not having a 10x egg on it but if you do want a strategy to look for these eggs for yourself i usually jump up here and try to go to the top of this volcano and then just jump down from all of the islands one by one checking to see what the odds of the eggs are so pretty much with any hoverboard you can just slide up to the top of that volcano so it's pretty easy and then you get access to a bunch of these eggs at once so you don't have to do the individual obbies for each of the eggs and then by following these paths you could pretty much just go down and check each and every single one of these eggs but moving on the second method for getting this huge pineapple monkey is actually here at the jungle boss fight now this jungle boss fight starts every four hours if you're on the eastern time zone this boss fight starts every four hours going from three seven and then 11 o'clock 
So basically, if you are a real grinder, you could do this boss fight six times a day if you decide to wake up in the middle of the night every four hours to fight this boss. Now, I don't necessarily suggest it because I personally haven't been able to get a huge pineapple monkey from this boss fight yet. But if you do want to know how to absolutely destroy this boss, it's not the same as it was last update. So I made a whole video on it a couple days ago and you can watch that right there. The good thing about that method is it also gives you a ton of seashells, which allows you to create the summer gifts. So that's just another reason why fighting this boss is so good. And on top of that, you have the chance at getting the huge pineapple monkey just off the rip. When fighting this boss, you get drops from the breakables that are in that area, as well as destroying all of the mini chests that spawn around it. And then on top of that, when you actually kill the boss itself, you do get a bunch of drops. So from my understanding, you can get the huge pineapple monkey from each of these methods in the boss fight. And if you use my method from that video, you can destroy the boss fight multiple times every four hours. Now, moving on, we actually have our third method for getting this huge pineapple monkey. So this is actually going to be the Tiki egg hunt event, which also starts every four hours. So if you're on Eastern time zone, this one actually goes from one to five to nine. So every four hours you can do this event. So essentially you can do this six times a day if you are a real grinder and want the best odds. Now in the Tiki egg hunt event, you can get up to a hundred times chance at getting this huge pineapple monkey from an egg. Now the only stipulation is that you can only hatch that egg for up to an hour or whatever the length of the Tiki egg hunt event is. Like I told you for Easter time zoners, it starts at one, five and nine o'clock and then runs for an hour. So it goes from one to two, five to six and then nine to 10. So depending on how fast you actually find a 100x egg or 75x egg or whatever egg you decide to start opening until the event's over is how long you actually have to maybe unlock this pineapple monkey. Now remember earlier I told you the regular egg has a one in a hundred million chance at opening the pineapple monkey which means that if you find this 100x huge chance egg that's going to give you a one in a million chance at getting the huge which means if you have a hundred egg openings you're going to have to cycle through this egg opening process 10,000 times on average to get the huge which is actually a decently high chance now the only downside to this method is that you only have an hour and it is another timed event and honestly let's face it timed events really suck in pet simulator i hope they don't do any more timed events ever again but if you are serious about getting the huge pineapple monkey this is the kind of thing that you are gonna have to do now you can follow the route that i use in this video but there's not really a specific way of actually getting a guaranteed 100x egg what i can tell you is if you join my discord we have people that are often doing this tiki egg hunt event and when they do find 100x eggs or 75x eggs or even 50x eggs they usually post it in the chat so you could use my discord as a way of finding these high multiplier x eggs as well as that i also do daily giveaways over on that discord so you might as well be in there anyways but yeah this is actually where i did get my first huge pineapple monkey from and that was on the first day of this event being out i can definitely vouch for this method you have a decently high chance depending on how lucky you are if you find one of these 100x eggs but again using resources like my discord to find people that have already found some of these eggs are a good way to try and get this for yourself i'll have a link down below to that discord if you want to join oh yeah and i always forgot a quick reminder for those who might be new at the game but if you are doing anything that requires opening an egg in Pet Simulator 99, you definitely want to be using an auto clicker because when you auto click while opening an egg, you're actually able to open that egg up to like 20% faster. So it's definitely worth it to use an auto clicker. Being able to open those eggs at least 20% faster during this event is going to enable you to get a much higher chance at actually getting the huge because you're on that timer and because you don't have that much time to actually open the egg itself but i guess if you are on mobile and don't have an auto clicker then you can just tap the screen while opening to make it go by faster now that does seem kind of painful but if you truly want to maximize your chances at getting the huge that's what you're gonna have to do and then finally if we go over to the area one and go over to the seashell machine this is actually the number one way to get the huge pineapple monkey and it's actually using the summer gifts that you get from combining these seashells now i probably should have waited to actually combine my gifts 
but if you see here i actually have 369 of these summer gifts that i made from combining seashells now the reason why this is the best way to get the huge pineapple monkey is because the odds to get this from these gifts are actually pretty low according to copycat on twitter it actually is a one in 369 chance to get the huge from these gifts now below this tweet he did say it's a one in 369 chance to get it from each gift so it's not per roll because each of these gifts has six rolls so so if it was per roll then essentially it would be one in 60 chance but personally i actually had a lot of luck with these gifts i actually opened two huge pineapple monkeys from these gifts and i only opened like a hundred of them so i'm honestly wondering if the chances to get the huge pineapple monkey are one in 369 per roll and not per gift so in this video, we're going to put that to the test and actually open up exactly 369 of these. So essentially, we should get around just one huge from this. But if we get more than that, then maybe the odds are even better than we thought. So if we look at our inventory here, I don't have any huge pineapple monkeys. All I have is a bunch of wizard westies, prison cats, stuff like that. So we're going to just start opening these up. I'm actually really curious what the odds to get this huge from this are. So that's why I'm doing this. I definitely feel like it's better odds than one out of 369. That just doesn't seem right from the ones that I've opened. But maybe I just got super lucky from the ones that I did. And it really is that high of a chance. But compared to that one in a hundred million chance that it is from the regular eggs, a one in 369 chance is practically nothing. So this is a very good odds opening gift. Definitely something I think is worth gambling for a lot of you guys. And even if you don't want to go ahead and buy these outright from somebody in the training plaza you can actually use that method that i made to destroy the boss to get a ton of seashells and just craft these for your own we're just gonna spam open them here i honestly just want to see what the odds to get this thing are we're currently about like 80 gifts in right now and i haven't seen anything too crazy pop out of these gifts Oh, we just got that summer hoverboard, actually. We're actually going to equip that here and ride it. So that's really cool. Let's keep going and see what we can get. Open up 24 of these bad boys at once. Oh, look at that, guys. Look, we got another cold, huge pineapple monkey. I'm telling you guys, the odds have to be really good from this. Not only did we get a huge pineapple monkey, but we got a golden one, too. So that's really good. Let's see how much gifts we're actually in. So we started 369 so that was about 820 gifts so not too bad 120 gifts in and we get a gold pineapple monkey that's really cool let's keep opening and see what else we can get oh look okay so we got our second one right here i think we're about like 200 in now so just got our second pineapple monkey this one's a regular one so these things are worth about 76 million this one's worth about 91 million so that is pretty good honestly we're just going to keep going ahead and opening i just want to get like an average of actually how many bags it actually takes to get the huge because that one in 369 chance just didn't seem real to me guys right, so we just got our third one i barely even saw it it was like right here behind all the items we just got our third one let's see if we can see it pop up in the items there we go okay so we got our third huge pineapple monkey this one's not gold as well so we're about 300 in and we have gotten three so it seems like it's more like a one in 100 chance and not a one in 369 chance honestly that would be more believable to me but i could also just be lucky as well so uh, this isn't guaranteed this isn't like a real test from my experience it seems like this is most definitely the best way to get the huge pineapple monkey so that is all of our gifts bags and we got a total of three huge pineapple monkeys from that so i definitely didn't profit from opening them but i did get quite a few more huges than i anticipated so that is very good you guys could potentially get more lucky than me but just just in terms of the odds of actually getting the huge itself that seems like it is the best way to get it if you really want to try and remember to use my boss fighting method if you do want a ton of free seashells now there has been a lot of people also saying that you get a ton of seashells from the treasure hideout in the tech world now personally i tested this and i didn't think it was that good at all so personally, I just wouldn't waste my time doing it if I were you guys. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this whole Obby World update as a whole and what you're looking forward to in the update on Saturday. Remember to like the video and subscribe to help me push towards Big Game Partner. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video and peace out.